Many little girls dream about their wedding day, the white dress, their prince charming, the festive party. All parents hope to be around to witness this time where their children will get married. It's one of life's major milestones. Wish Upon a Wedding is the world's first nonprofit dedicated to granting wedding wishes to couples facing terminal illness regardless of sexual orientation. These celebrations will take place in hospitals, at bedsides, in hospices, and at other venues, either in their hometown or at one of our chapter locations. One of these people getting married will have been diagnosed with less than three years to live. Many of these couples have been wiped out financially due to overwhelming medical bills, yet they still dreamed of one day getting married. Liz soon realized that many couples who faced illness shared some common traits. They didn't have the money, resources, energy, or most importantly, the time to plan their weddings. Shelly and Ray in Seattle on May 22nd, when Wish Upon a Wedding was first contacted by a social worker at Providence Hospice of Seattle, we were told Shelly has less than three weeks to live. Battling a rare form of cancer, Shelly was in hospice care and had a desire to have one last special celebration of life surrounded by her friends and family. We were able to plan her entire wedding in just days. Shelly passed away just over three weeks after she married her love, Jay, in a ceremony and reception provided by Wish Upon a Wedding. Many more requests have started to come in, and our goal is to never turn away any eligible applicant. And our hope is to grant hundreds of wishes across the United States and bring hope and joy to the couples we're helping. We had our first wedding wish on the 13th of March near Sacramento. The bride was Florence, who has stage four breast cancer. She has had a double mastectomy. She has undergone chemotherapy treatments and has less than one year to live. She will leave behind three children, but now she knows that they will have a stable father figure in their lives. Florence and Michael got to share their wedding with 50 of their closest friends and loved ones, surrounded by Florence's doctors and nurses in a very special celebration. Liz was there and she told me on Monday that it was honestly one of the most profound wedding ceremonies she has ever been a part of and it will stay with her forever. Because of wish granters, wedding vendors like every one of you, people like Florence and Michael created memories for their families that they will cherish for years to come. They could not have done this without wish upon a wedding.